What's cooler than a 360? Two of them, a 720. And we've got the CK720 from Cooler Master. The really cool thing about this guy, not that it's Cooler Master, it's just that it's hot swap. It's 65%. Uh, apparently there's an aluminum top plate and what I'm really excited about is these stabilizers are apparently lubed so it seems that uh, the bigger companies are finally kind of getting on board with this and I am really down the Corsair one was okay but there's definitely room for improvement so I'm very curious to see how uh, Cooler Master does I've actually never typed on like a single Cooler Master keyboard I don't think so I'm stoked to check it out uh, we've got two. One of them, I think it's just the switches. Oh, there's a black and a white version. Very cool. Uh, we've got clickies. It just says clicky. I think they're Kale Box V2s or something. And then uh, this is just as tactile, but that looks like a cherry brown. I kind of want the black one. Even though I really don't like clickies, I kind of want to open the black one. So let's open the black one. I've never really been one of those like all white uh, aesthetic kind of people. I prefer black or colors. We've got a how to remove the aluminum top cover. Oh, this is super cool. I don't know if this is entirely toolless. It looks like you actually don't even need to take all of the keycaps off, just where the stabilizers are maybe. Uh, and then you open up the side panel here and then you uh, flick a switch and then you take it off. So we're gonna try that. Uh, we've also got a quick start guide. It's basically just warranty and other stuff. Uh, some quick stuff like function plus T for LED modus. Oh, that's not English, that's German, I think. Uh, what else do we get in the box? Oh, that's cool. It's got like a little, I mean, it's plastic. It's not actually gold or uh, anodized metal or anything. Maybe that's just the tape. Yeah, I think, I think it's just the tape is gold. Oh, okay, cool. That makes a lot more sense. That's the aluminum top plate. So we'll try to take that off. I should only have to take uh, these guys off to get at it. As per usual, we've got a keycap puller and a switch puller. I prefer these ones personally. I find that these are just really easy to get switches, especially when um, they're right on the very edge. And then these keycap pullers that work like this with the tongs, I like these as well because it's really easy to just like get in and out. Uh, whereas with one of these guys, I brought another puller. Uh, with one of these guys, like I, this, that's also easy. But like, see how I've got to push down a bit more. But I think that's it. I don't think there's anything else in here. Oh, a cable. It's not anything special. It's just C to A with no sleeving of any kind. But the reality is uh, if you check their website, I'm pretty sure they mentioned that they are going to be making custom cables. So that's cool. Really excited to see how those end up. For now, I'll just use this regular guy. I already took a couple keycaps off and you can see that they're just KL Box V2s. Pretty nice clickies if you're into that sort of thing. Apparently they come with some greens as well. So you can try those out. Maybe that's just the final release and not ours. Spacebar is okay. You know what, I'm actually gonna open the other one really quick. I don't want to judge the sound of it based on the clickies. And hey, now you guys get to see the white one too. You know what, I'm gonna leave this yellow accent tape on. I kinda like it. Yeah, okay. There are a couple silicone layers in this, I think, and that helps. These feel uh, a lot sturdier than regular browns too. The space bar is okay. There is some rattle and stuff in there still. And I think it's because they're using clip-on stabilizers instead of screw-in, which is fine. It's, you know, we like screw-in. Actually, I'm gonna take the space bar off. You can tell because they've got clips right here. Normally those would be screw-in, um, or at least in higher-end products, they'd be screw-in. It's really not the end of the world. And there is lube. I can definitely see the lube. Why is there a do not remove Cooler Master sticker on here? What, what happens if I remove that sticker? Oh, I'm gonna remove the sticker. No. Oh, I got it. Okay, there's a screw there. Why they, And why do they only put it over one of them? Okay, I don't understand. Whatever, if you need to tear this thing apart, don't worry about the sticker. I don't know why it's here. I hate the whole warranty void. It doesn't say warranty void. It just says, you know, do not remove, but whatever. The knob is very tactile. You can really feel each individual click on it, and I like that a lot. Press down, forward, back. It doesn't come out super easy. Is there a little hole where I can unscrew it? I am not sure. Let's try. Taking the top plate off, that's what I'm really curious about. I also don't know why you need to remove these switches. Like, I, like I don't understand. Uh, I'm just gonna try doing the thing on the side. So we're gonna open it, take this little guy off, push this over. Okay, so I have to remove these guys. Okay, knob came off pretty easily, actually. I don't understand, so these ones I kind of get because they're stabilizers, but I don't understand why the page down and the, the numpad has to get taken off. I think there's plastic clips still. Yep. 
Ah, there we go, cool. Yeah, it just pops right off. So they've got two layers of silicone in here. There's one on the very bottom of the case, and then there's one just above the PCB, in between the PCB and the top plate. And it's a cool purple material, so it fits the uh, stabilizers. I actually really like that. I don't know, I'm a big purple guy. I got the purple sweater on and everything today. I'm a big fan. Otherwise, the case is okay. The case itself is plastic. Uh, the top, it, it is aluminum, but it's very thin. The keycaps themselves, they're basically just double shot PVT. And uh, I'm gonna put this back on. Oh, do you like slide it over? Oh, you do! Oh, okay. So that's the thing is you push and then slide over and then pull it off. That's what was going on with those clips. It was because I'm dumb and I didn't realize that you have to slide it over. That is not shown in there how to remove the top cover. It just shows him like lifting it off. So Cooler Master, you could do a better job with that in my opinion. That was not readily apparent. But now that I know how to take it on and off, it's actually like pretty easy. I'm a big fan. I get why they need the keycaps off now too, because you gotta slide it over and that would touch the keycaps. Um, yeah, okay, cool, that's pretty neat. On the bottom, we've got two stage adjustable feet. Pretty sure they're two stage. Yep, I'm a big fan of this. This is one of the features that I would really like to see on more high-end boutique boards. Um, I know that these feet aren't necessarily as sturdy. I know they have more of a tendency to break. I know that they're probably going to have to be plastic but I just also don't care. Like, I just want an option for typing experience. Let me go from like flat like this to, I don't know, whatever incline this is, and then something in between with uh, these guys here. Yeah, that's nice. Just gives you options, you know. I gotta put away the black one with the clicky switches and I'm gonna grab the white one, uh, try out the browns, see how the typing experience really is when I'm actually typing something and not just mashing the keys. But not until a word from our sponsor, Manscaped. Today's video is brought to you by Manscaped. Christmas is right around the corner and their new Performance Package 4.0 will make a great gift to your partner. The Performance Package 4.0 includes their waterproof and cordless lawnmower 4.0, their Weed Whacker ear and nose trimmer for tricky trimming, and their Crop Preserver and Crop Reviver for your deodorizing and hydration needs. For a limited time, you'll also get two free gifts, the Shed Travel Bag and the Manscaped Anti-Chafing Boxer Briefs. I love those boxer briefs. Don't wait, go to manscaped.com and use promo code CIRCUIT for 20% off your order and free international shipping. I'm gonna take off the accent tape now because I don't like it anymore, it looks weird. Do, 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 do. I want to know how heavy it is. It's 880 grams. So that's uh, almost two pounds. Yeah, it's pretty close to two pounds. One thing <laughs> that I just noticed, uh, they've probably done this with other products before that have USB cables, but the internal plastic on the USB is purple as well. As you can see, there's a bunch of RGB on this bad boy, per key illumination. Nice, thanks to this double shot. Keycap, you can see it really easily in the dark. I like how they've got the Cooler Master uh, logo on the function key, that's pretty cool. It looks like it's also uh, ready for Mac layout as well, cause you got like the command symbol and stuff here on the alt key and whatnot. Uh, so it's probably really easy for you to switch this to Mac if you're an Apple user. I haven't taken the top plate off of this one and it's very loose. I did not notice that with the black one. It's probably hard to see on camera, but I can actually like really jiggle this around a lot and I haven't even opened this. I cannot attest for quality control. The black one felt fine, the white one not so much. Don't know, buyer beware, I guess. I have no idea. I'm just gonna try typing and see how this goes. And away we go. Oh, that was very, oh, I thought that was every. 110, 96%, not great. Uh, I'm gonna blame myself instead of the keyboard. That would have gone a lot better if I hadn't thought that every uh, was the word there, but that's okay. Honestly, it feels and sounds okay. The space bar is definitely apparent, but that's actually really hard. Like that, something a lot of people complain about is that, and I've done it too, um, is that a space bar is gonna sound really different from the rest of your board. And the part of the problem is that it's just a much larger key. Like they're usually about 6.5 or seven units um, versus like one or maybe two or three or whatever on your enter and delete key or backspace, sorry. And it's really easy to make the other guys sound good when it's just a three use stabilizer. But once you're going all the way across with that really long bar, it's hard to make it sound good. You could probably improve this with a bit of foam under the space bar itself. And then, uh, yeah, maybe just not clip in. 
let me screw in the stabilizers. It's just, it's a lot easier for manufacturers to just clip stuff in, I guess. Let's take a look at the software. Let's see how good the Master++ Plus Plus stuff is. I don't like the name, but if it works, it works. Oh, it's detecting our CK720 right away. That's nice. Uh, I don't, yeah, there's these two little dots down here. I don't quite know what those are about, but whatever, they're clearly labeled here, which is good. We can change all the RGB stuff. Like, boom, now it's all red. If we wanted to, it could be all blue. Easy peasy, you know, change things to like, that's a reactive fade now. Man, I love RGB. Oh, you can change the LED speed and stuff too. So make it like fast and stuff. And you can like move the LED direction around and whatnot. Uh, key mapping as well in here, which is great. You can just, looks like you can change anything to literally whatever you want, except for the cooler master button, which will change, it's the function button. You can't really change that. Uh, and you can set up a bunch of macros and profiles. Honestly, as much as I hate the name, the software seems perfectly usable. Uh, so this is great, honestly. I, I think that you can't really go wrong with this. It, it worked no problem, detected the keyboard. Uh, everything is readily available to me. And uh, yeah, you know what? I hate the name, but I like the product. So that's fine. Master++ Plus Plus software, you get a A plus rank from me. Here's the real kicker though. Uh, this guy is like a hundred dollars. You can definitely find pretty quality hot swappable boards for about a hundred bucks. But the fact that you could incorporate this easily into a bunch of your other Cooler Master gear on your desk and the fact that it does have hot swap, maybe these plates will be swappable later. Um, it comes with switches, keycaps, you're ready to go. It's got a knob, like honestly, I think this is a pretty decent buy, especially if you want decent RGB software and you don't want to uh, use like QMK and VIA and whatnot to program it. But I think that if you're looking for a keyboard and you want something with a warranty and you want something that you can just buy, I think this is actually a pretty solid purchase for just about anyone looking to uh, get into custom keyboards. There you have it guys. It's the Cooler Master CK720. I don't know where the CK comes from, but you know what? I like the rest of the board. I think for a hundred bucks, it's not bad. Uh, this was Short Circuit. If you enjoy other Short Circuits, then watch other Short Circuits.